How can one person need this many books? We should be careful. This place could be booby-trapped. Let's just start looking for the enchanting book. A brief history of cubism. Crafting for noobs. <laughs> Revised. A collector's guide to precious gems. None of these are enchanting books. Hey, Lucas. Having any luck? No. I just... I've been thinking about other stuff, actually. Stuff such as... You know, Gabriel, the ocelots, people getting wither sickness and amnesia. <sighs> Don't get me wrong. I'm glad I came with you. I just... I'm just scared for everyone. For them, for us, for everybody, really. You're a good friend, Lucas. The fact that you're always thinking about others, it says a lot. Well, I like my friends. I guess that's why they're friends in the first place, right? Either that, or you like that they say nice things about you. <laughs> Ivor, on the other hand, I think his only friends were books. I guess being an angry loner leaves you a lot of time to read. <laughs> Tell me about it. How to train your slime, the various uses of mushroom stew, Potionology, Volume 24? Are any of them the enchanting book? I don't think so. Olivia, any luck? Not really. Ivor has too many books, and there's too few of us looking. How did we end up all split up like this? I feel like we're spreading ourselves too thin. I miss how things used to be. That first night we all spent together, that was kind of fun, almost. At least Lucas is still here. For a moment back at the cave, I thought he was gonna leave us. Glad you talked him out of it. He's smart, I like having him around. And he has excellent hair. He does have good hair, doesn't he? <laughs> See? This is why we get along so well. How I learned to stop worrying and love mining. Hmm. The unabridged Redstone Encyclopedia. Zombies and pigs. An intimate memoir. <gasps> oh, none of these seem to be enchanting books either. Find anything yet? Huh, in this mess? Uh, it's as though Ivor learned nothing from my lectures on organizational methodology. If only he hadn't tried to fight those cursed witches, he could just tell us where the book is. Coming here was his idea. He should be here for it. He can be pretty stupid for someone so smart. Yes! And this house is a perfect example! There's neither rhyme nor reason to how these books are stored. Finding anything here is impossible. Tedious, maybe. Impossible? No way. Fine, I will continue this monotonous search. But I reserve my right to grumble about it. It's a deal. Twenty thousand blocks under the sea. Learn to succeed by thinking inside the box. I think I'm in the wrong part of the house. Reuben, what are you doing? Yeah, well, you're gonna get yourself cooked. I've told you before, stay away from lava. All these potions, uh, arranged just so, it seems familiar somehow. We stole a potion from Ivor, didn't we? Around when the chicken thing happened? It's foggy, but I can kind of see it. Yes, I totally stole it from him. I knew it! And then because of that, when the wither went crazy, Ivor didn't have any way of disabling it. I don't remember that part. Harsh potions, stinky potions. Ivor's got everything 
except a potion for memory. Jesse, am I gonna be okay? Every time I think I'm getting better, it all just slips away again. Is this just the new me? We're gonna fix you, Petra. I promise. You and Gabriel and anyone else who got affected by the Wither Storm. But not unless you destroy the command block, right? Trust me. That command block is toast. You never stop fighting. I like that about you. Hey, Olivia. I think there's some redstone over here. Looks like a circuit. We probably just need a lever to power it. Well, it's a good thing I still have one. From, like, ages ago. Like it was made for it. Let's see what this sucker does. Way. Cool! Why would you build a secret passage in a house nobody ever visits? More like, why wouldn't you? Secret passageways are cool. Good point. What the? Are you guys okay? We're fine, but the lever isn't working anymore. Stay there! We'll head down and see what we can find! Whoa! What is all this? Ha! Huh, incredible! He's gathered them all in one place! Gathered... what exactly? The treasures of the Order of the Stone! Stories I could tell about these dusty old things. I don't see any enchanting books, though. Maybe through there. Uh, locked, of course. There must be some way to open it. Locked. So why does Ivor have the treasures of the Order of the Stone? Did he steal them? No, 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 no. We, we let him keep them when we split up. You let him keep your treasures? Frankly, Jesse, it's a long story. Those are gas tears. These gas tears, they're super hard to get. You don't know the half of it. It was our first official mission as the Order of the Stone. We fought those ghasts for hours, and these tears were our reward. Wow. Jesse, what are you doing? Uh, taking this really cool rare item. We might need it to unlock that door. Oh, very well. Just be careful with it. See? Prismarine crystals? You've got to be kidding me. These are prismarine crystals. You can only get these underwater, right? Precisely. We nearly ran out of oxygen getting these. <laughs> Eligard had to use a spare bucket just to grab a few extra breaths. We used most of these to craft a sea lantern. This is all that remained. Prismarine is such a cool word. Prismarine. Hack 
baked ice. I've only ever heard of this stuff. So where'd this packed ice come from? Well, we brought it back from the ice plain spikes biome. It was colder there than anywhere we'd ever been, but <laughs> Magnus slipped so many times our laughter kept us warm. After that, we knew we were ready to face the Ender Dragon. Ooh, cold and slippery. Now that's pretty bright. Am I crazy? Or is this a sea lantern? Ah, the very same one the Order built all those years ago. We were so green back then. It looks just as bright as on the day we crafted it. A sea lantern, huh? No way. Is that what I think it is? Soren, is this the actual Ender Dragon egg? Uh, alas, yes. The only thing that remains of our final adventure together. No way I'm leaving this behind. Aha! A hopper! Why is Ivor hiding a hopper in his basement? Looks like a regular hopper. That's hooked up to a bunch of Fredstone circuitry. Man, Ivor sure does love his puzzles. Any idea how this hopper thing's supposed to work? I have no clue. Ivor can be very confounding when he wants to be. Hmm. Five slots. Gast tears. Let's tr Soren said the Order got these gas tears on their very first mission together. Prismarine crystals. Into the hopper. The Order used these crystals to make the sea lantern. Sea lantern. In you go. Soren said this lantern was crafted from prismarine crystals. Huh. Packed ice. Let's put it here. Soren said they got this ice just before fighting the Ender Dragon. Yes! You solved it! But how in the world did you know what order to put them in? There were 120 possible combinations! It was all in the Order's history. The Order of the Order, so to speak. Nice work, Jesse. On the puzzle, I mean. Not the joke. You know, I often give Ivor a hard time, but for all his complaining, his time with the Order clearly meant a great deal to him. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, let's go get that enchanting book. By the stars, the Ender Dragon, with replica Ender Crystals and all. I always wondered what it looked like. Hmm. No way out. Reuben, do you know what to do here? worth a shot. Soren, what's this thing supposed to be? It appears to be an homage to our battle with the Ender Dragon. Despite his anger, Ivor never stopped being fond of us. <laughs> he was a big part of our team, after all. He knows his days in the Order were his finest. This is the same Ender Dragon you and the Order of the Stone defeated, right? <laughs> no, Jesse. It's just a model. Right. That's my point. If you tell me about the battle, it could help me solve the puzzle. Ah, <sighs> if only you'd been there. It was a fight for the ages. We'd spent weeks preparing for our greatest battle ever. But even so, Ender Dragon was stronger than even I had imagined. I realized 
that it was drawing strength from the Ender Crystals, and that the crystals had to be destroyed. I hit the first with a perfectly placed arrow. The second I destroyed by launching myself on the shockwave of Magnus's TNT. Using only my strength and my wiles, I steered the foul beast toward the third crystal. I flew the dragon directly toward the final crystal. Only then did Gabriel deliver his famous final blow. Yeah. We became heroes, and eventually, legends. The greatest the world has ever known. You did all that? Indeed I did. They didn't call us the Order of the Stone for nothing. Hmm, wonder if that story will help me solve this puzzle. So Soren rode the dragon, huh? Looks like a banner about TNT. Hmm, interesting. That's a sword. Well, a banner of a sword anyway. weapons. Hmm. That's redstone. I pressed all four, but it isn't doing anything. Soren, tell me the story again. Certainly. We'd spent weeks preparing for our greatest battle. Sorry, maybe the short version this time? Well, all right. I destroyed one crystal with my bow, the next using a TNT shockwave, the third with Elagard's redstone cannon, the fourth from upon the dragon itself. And then Gabriel poked it dead with a sword. How was that? Better. Thanks. There's another door? Soren said he rode on the dragon's back. Hmm. Hey, Reuben, give me a boost, will ya? It can't be. Not here. 
Not after all this time. But that's impossible. Ivor couldn't have these in a basement in the Far Lands. Right, Soren? He kept them. The fool actually kept them. He looked me in the eye and swore he was going to dispose of them. Soren, what is all this? What in the world is going on here? Jesse, this isn't... this isn't what it looks like. Our story, uh, the story, it's, it's mostly true. I swear, I swear it. Whatever you're thinking, I promise I can explain. Soren, have you been lying all this time? No, no! Not exactly. I'm afraid I haven't been honest with you, Jesse. We did defeat the Ender Dragon, but it, it wasn't exactly like I said. How not exactly? We got rid of it, but we didn't kill it, per se. The fact was, we didn't even fight it. We didn't even try. You're not making much sense here, Soren. There's a reason for that. And that reason is? We used that damned command block. You used the command block to defeat the Ender Dragon? I'm afraid so. Understand, when I found that blasted block, we were nobodies. But with its help, we became stronger. Faster, we could do so much more. The others had no idea what I was doing. Yet the more I used it, the more we came to depend on it. I knew it was only so long before someone would find out. So, I concocted a plan. I would use the command block to blink the Ender Dragon out of existence. Securing our status as legends forever. We told the world we defeated a dragon. And the rest is history. Soren, you cheated. You worse than cheated. You're a fraud. Believe me, I know. So you finally admit it. Soren, how could you? Ivor. How long have you guys been standing there? Long enough that they heard the whole thing. You lied to the whole world. You didn't think you could keep it secret forever, did you, Soren? The truth hurts, doesn't it? But Ivor, why? You knew about all of this, didn't you, Ivor? Of course I knew about it. I was in the Order from the very beginning. Soren, Gabriel, Magnus, Eligard, they agreed to keep this a secret. And you, you agreed to stay quiet too, in exchange for all of our treasures. <gasps> I've technically never told anybody. Jesse discovered the truth on her own. So this whole thing, this wither you unleashed has all been to teach the Order a lesson? To teach the world a lesson. To show you who the Order really are. Liars, cowards. And now, they know. You know, I kind of regret punching you right now. Yes, well, you weren't the first. No one ever seems to appreciate my good intentions. Might have something to do with the casual way in which you unleashed Armageddon? Look, my wither plan obviously backfired. You think? I didn't know we'd end up with three of those things tearing the world apart. Whoa. I almost forgot for a moment. Look, right now, Axel is out there somewhere, facing that monster you created. So however we got here, we need to move on. Jesse's right. Destroying the command block is all that matters anymore. How ironic that the best thing the command block gave us was the very means to destroy it. Spare us the poetry. It's not your strong suit. I've had this book for years. Never thought I'd actually have to use it. 
This thing better work. Because if it doesn't... You don't need to say it. Follow me. I'll show you. Ivor? I'm sorry. About everything. Yes, well... It doesn't matter now. Grab some ingredients and craft a weapon. I'll show you how to enchant it. Sweet. Let's see what Ivor's got in here. Let's see. There's a bunch of crafting stuff and... Diamonds! Score! So, an axe? Guess I could craft another sword. A pickaxe. Oldie but goodie. Awesome! I've never owned a diamond weapon. Just wait till you enchant it! Let's see what this enchanting book is made of. Enchanted Diamond Sword. <laughs> yes, that should do the job nicely. But if you're fighting those Wither Monsters head on, you'll want better armor, too. I enchanted these for the Order. They're about as strong as it comes. Even able to withstand TNT. Any preference? I have eight different sets to choose from. And believe me, they're all excellent. You won't go wrong, whatever you choose. All right. Let me take a look at them. It's all quite durable. And sturdy. The adamantine impervium! Even harder to damage than it is to pronounce! I call this the Star Shield! No object in the universe can penetrate it. Even the Ender Dragon would have fled from this in terror. I call this one the Shield of Infinity. In no small part because it's infinitely cool. This is Swordbreaker. All but the strongest of weapons would shatter against it. I call this one the Ender Defender. Very strong against an Enderman's attack. That's the Redstone Riot. Engineered to be virtually indestructible. This one is named Golden Goliath. As bright and powerful as the sun itself. All right, this is the set. Yes, a fine choice. Now go ahead and put it on. How do I look? Ready for action. You can take some for your friends as well. Sounds good to me. Cool armor, Jesse. Thanks. And there's plenty to go around. Now, let's get back to Soren's fortress and see how the Witherstorms are doing against those Endermen. 